those people in your life each and every day and make that message, make that call. New at 10, family and friends remember a Bristol teacher who died shortly after his dream of becoming a teacher came true. There was a celebration of life for Marty Bernstein at the Mount Olive First Baptist Church outside of Manford today. News Channel's Danica Hill was there for it. Danica, you got a chance to talk to his family about the impact he had on so many lives. Yeah, Kim, both his sister and his uh, son tell me that children and education were his passion. They say he wouldn't think twice if someone needed his help, despite his own health complications. Those kids were his light. He was passionate about kids, passionate about education. Honestly, if you didn't get to know Marty, you missed out. Story after story highlighting the life of Marty Bernstein. Loving, generous, generous beyond generous. Bernstein passing away after a nearly 20-year battle with a heart disease. He had a second open heart surgery, and before he made it out of recovery, it closed. Um, they said his heart was enlarged and the valves going to it just were no longer good. But that battle didn't stop him from making his dream a reality. You know, he was late in life when he decided to be the teacher and I mean, he still went for it. He, he fought through his sickness, through everything to get that goal. At 60 years old, Bernstein graduating with a teaching degree from OU just this past May. He was my student teacher last year. And most people find it hard to imagine that a man who had retired from one career fought so hard to get a teaching degree to be an elementary teacher. Affectionately known as Mr. Marty, he was only able to have his own first grade class in Bristow for just about a month. And although his time as a teacher was cut short, he worked at a number of schools, helping in any way he could. He started with Manford, with my nieces, worked with uh, Keystone, Cleveland, Bristow, Oilton. I worked a lot with him within the athletic department. Uh, he did so much for the food pantry and the clothes closet that was up there at the school and anything that you needed done. His students have been split into different classrooms, and his sister tells me the school plans to leave his classroom exactly the way it was. That's the way they're going to remember Mr. Marty for the remainder of the year. Danica Hill, News Channel 8.